Hello everyone, it is Baby Wales, and welcome back to another video. This time it's going to be something different that I've never done, but I've always wanted to do, and I always watch these kinds of YouTube videos, so I thought that it'd be really cool to do. And this will be a story time. Nothing is impossible. What are you waiting for? Just do it! Now, this started with my mom waking me up at around... 7.52, uh, let me just say. And I wanted to wake up at 7, and she woke me up close to 8, and I didn't realize the time until I got in a call with my friend Simone. Simone is also known as a Pixa. Go check out her channel. The link will be below. Below? <laughs> the link will be below, down in the description. So, you know, go check out her channel. Yeah. Anyway, so we were in a call, like, not a Skype call like we usually are, but we were in a phone call on the phone, and... I realized the time it was when it was like 8.06 in the morning and I was brushing my hair. But it pretty much is what I was wearing before. It's like boot cut jeans or whatever. These very beautiful socks. <laughs> and this Disney shirt. And this is actually um, the Lady in the Tramp is actually my favorite Disney movie. So I thought that it would be a very cute shirt to wear for the first day of school. So that's what I decided to wear. Now, by the time that I leave the house, it's around 8.30. And I'm walking to the bus stop because I take the bus. And I'm walking to the bus stop that I had took in last year and I get there at around I believe like 8.48 so I'm waiting there for about five minutes for my friend named Alyssa so I'm waiting for her for five minutes you know just check on my phone and see if I got any iMessages because I have my data turned off because I used all four gigabytes of it and as soon as she arrives uh, she arrives by walking you know she actually called me like a few seconds before she got there i don't even know why she did it but you know she did it so then we can like talk a little bit while she walked because there's nothing better to do since we're waiting for the bus and finally she hangs up the phone as she approaches the gate and this gate it's an exit only gate and it's only for cars so if there's not a car going past then you have to like jump like this little fence thing it's like this little concrete little fence then they can just go there stop for a few seconds as the door opens and usually as the door opens or as the door is closing the people like me and Alyssa will walk through there so then we can get to the bus stop which is right next to it like literally like it's down the road and then a little bit to the left but eventually after five or like two to five minutes uh, another friend of ours that didn't take the bus last year but we still know them from around the neighborhood came with their parent driving them and so all three of us you know talking hanging out blah blah blah, blah until about 9.05 now, the bus is supposed to come around 8.52 to 9.16. And since it usually comes, I mean, that's the time that it's supposed to come around, but since it usually comes around 8.52, more like 8.46, I mean, if it's really early, it'll be 8.46, but usually it is like 8.52 to 9 o'clock. Now, once it hits 9 o'clock, I'm starting to think to myself, well, after 9.15 to 9.16, if the bus doesn't come to pick us up, then we can just, you know, go home. I mean, I might have been falsely led. But, from what I've been told, if the bus doesn't come at before 9.17, because from 9.15 to 9.16, usually, like, the latest it can ever be, after 9.16, you can just go back home. You don't even have to go to school because now you have an excuse because the bus driver was late and you're allowed to do that. And so by around 9, 9.05, I'm asking Alyssa like every 30 seconds, like what time is it, what time is it? I really want it to be 9.16 because on the first day of school, you don't want to go to school. I mean, come on, the first day of school, you got to wake up early and then you got to go to school, you got to interact with people. And if you're like me, you're so antisocial, just chilling on the computer most of the day and sleeping until 12 p.m. So the clock hits 9.10. And I'm just thinking to myself, and I'm saying aloud, I can't wait for 9.15 or 9.16 because then I don't have to go to school. Like that is amazing for me. Like I don't wanna go to school. When the clock ticks 9.11, the bus, you can see the bus going on the strip. Not, not on the strip, but uh, okay. So the bus, when it's coming towards the bus stop, there's a street and then there's like a turn and then there's a street that kind of goes like, it okay, pretends like this is like the little turn right here. Turn, ooh, and 
we're on this side, so we don't see when it goes whoop. So when it's like in this area right here, we can't see it, and then it goes like that. And then we can see it again. We see the bus at the corner, like at the red light, stop at the, for the corner, and we're like, oh, okay, and the bus is coming, though it's like super late, the bus is coming. So the bus, you know, it turns the corner like it usually does, and it goes in that thing, like that little, you know, I what I told you about earlier, that little pocket where we can't see it, and it doesn't appear for a couple of minutes later, and everybody's thinking, oh my gosh, did it stop at the front gate? Were we supposed to go to the front gate? Because later in the day, I was informed that at the beginning of the seventh grade, it actually stopped at the front gate, and then it, and then it um, stopped at near the exit. It's about to hit like three minutes, like three minutes are about to go by, and we see the bus come back around, and we're guessing, oh, maybe there was a little bit of traffic, maybe there was another bus or something, because before our bus came, there's this bus that usually picks up kids that are on the opposite side of the street, like a couple of blocks down on the other side of the street, but we can still see them. They're like on the corner of the second block. And everybody at my bus stop knows that once the bus goes by, uh, you know, our bus is coming soon. Our bus is, you know, it's coming towards us. We're seeing like, oh, okay, like the bus, even though it's super late, you know, the bus is coming. That's, that's great, you know, the bus, the bus. It's coming closer and closer and closer. And after it's a, it gets to about 10 feet away, you don't see those little like yellow and red lights flashing that go like in and out like like that so we were with taylor and she says why aren't the lights blinking like why are those lights blinking and why is it slowing down so it's getting closer and closer and closer and it's inching closer this bus this bus okay this bus it is a couple of feet away and it is going at full speed i was about to say full force but it's going at full speed ahead and it drives right past us like shoo, and everybody at the bus stop there's like five of the people at the bus stop and everybody like so after, right after the bus goes shoom right in front of our faces everyone goes what the heck like what the come back I personally would kind of understand if it would speed pass us because it probably thought that we're supposed to be at that stop and it saw us there and it would just like slow down and stop so then we can board the bus. But no, the bus driver decided that, may, I mean maybe he didn't, maybe this person, this bus driver didn't see us or maybe they're just a complete a-hole and they just zoomed past us and they didn't even stop. They were like all the way down the rest of the road and all we could see is their little butt. Like, you know, the, the, the butt of the, um, of the buses, right? You know, that little butt, but it's like all the way in the distance. It's like, it's so far away. It's like five blocks down, but this, this street is pretty, pretty straight, I guess, for five, five, six, seven blocks. And we see the tail end of this bus and Alyssa, calls her grandmother. And as Alyssa is calling her grandmother, I go ahead and call my mom too. And I tell her, I, I don't know, I don't remember exactly what I told her, but it was a little something like this. Hey mom, hi honey, what's up? Did the bus finally come? And she was asking that because I had told her that the bus hadn't come around 9, 10. And she's like, is Alyssa there? Are all the other people there? And she's like, oh, okay, you know, it's okay. It's not that the bus doesn't come at all. Um, not really. Uh, what do you mean? The bus just flew right past us. Wait, what? And so it went on of her kind of like complaining and stuff. And then Alyssa turns to me on the phone and she goes like this. And she's like, my grandma said that she'll pick us up. And then I say, hold on, mom. Okay, thanks. Um, Alyssa's mom is going to be um, dr um, driving us driving us and then Alyssa is just over there like so then I continue by saying driving us yeah she, she's gonna drive us to school and hopefully we're not late and so Alyssa and I wrap up her phone calls and this Taylor you know 
not this Taylor girl, but Taylor is going to be tagging along with us. Not tagging along with us, but she's going to be getting a ride as well, so then all three of us can get to school. Illuminati. So I hope that you like this video, and if you do like it, then you could, then if you could please comment, share, subscribe, comment what you think. That would be awesome. Everybody loves that on the YouTube channel. And this time, when I when I say comment, I actually mean to say comments because I'm saying I'm asking, not saying. I'm asking you if you could just go ahead and tell me how your first day of school went, or if you already had your first day of school, how that went, if it was, if you know, you didn't just have your first day of school. That would be awesome. As always, stay awesome.